Hi, Peter Charles here from Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie a simplified surf clouser. Now you're going to say to yourself, what's a surf clouser? Why is it different from a regular clouser minnow? Well, let's take a look at this poor little fellow. This guy was fished in the surf for uh, maybe half an hour or so, and it hit the bottom a lot, and it just sheared off all the bucktail at that angle. All this has been just sheared right off. And so anytime you're fishing in the surf and you are dragging your clouser minnows along the bottom, this is what's going to happen to them. And it's not just a surf. If you're fishing over gravel or a rocky bottom and you're banging it on bottom all the time, it's going to do the same thing. If you're running your bucktail along the bottom, it's going to shred it. So uh, this type of fly design is intended to keep the material away from that angle so it doesn't cut the bucktail off. So first off, let's take a look at the materials we're going to use. Our hook is a stainless steel salt water, a two extra strong sh standard shank. Uh, you could use a, a short shank as well, both would work. Just use the uh, hook that's appropriate to the size of the fish that you're fishing for. Our thread is Danville's monofilament fine. And we have our clouser eyes. We're going to use a little uh, CA glue. Our underwing is white bucktail. Our first flash is fluorescent yellow crystal flash. Our second flash is limp gold. And here's a secret weapon, fluorescent yellow for the top wing. Yeah, you can use fluorescent chartreuse too, that works. But fluorescent yellow on an overcast day glows. You wouldn't believe what this thing looks like in the water. I mean, it really attracts fish. Uh, it's been a fantastic color scheme for me. And let's take a look at this fellow. Take a look at the angle of that hook. And what happened to this fly, and that's fluorescent yellow on there, what happened to that fly is uh, in 2004, uh, I was fishing down in Cape Cod, and I hooked into an absolutely massive bass that ran me deep into my backing. I've got 200 yards on the spool, and I'm starting to get worried. I'm starting to run out. So I jammed my hand on the spool to put on the brakes, and that's what happened to that two extra strong hook. Opened it right up. So... It works. This is a great color scheme. I've had a lot of success with it. So let's get going and we'll see how this is put together. First off, we're going to put a, a bed of monofilament where we want to put the clouser eyes. When you're putting clouser eyes on, put them on at an angle like that. It makes it easy. Then turn them around and get them going the other way. Now we have to adjust them to make sure they're straight. And then once, you're got, once you've got that right, you can tie them up. Now, this is where the glue comes in. I would normally put glue all over that. I'm not gonna do it today. I'll end up with my fingers stuck together. However, what we should do is prepare some ahead of time. So now the glue has a chance to set and I can handle these no trouble. I don't get stuck to it. So once we've got our glue in and we've got that lashed together, flip it upside down and let's start with the white. As I've always mentioned in these videos, always use the hair at the tip, not the base. The hair at the uh, tip is solid, at the base is hollow, it makes it flare out when you try to tie it in place. Now this is, I don't like to tie my clousers too bushy. So uh, I'm going to start with a relatively small clump, and I'm just going to take the, uh, the short bits off of it. Now just come in along the side in this fashion. Come up from the bottom. And just pull it. Pull up when you tighten. Put a few turns in there, and then just twist it on top and then wrap it down. You might have a few strays in there. It's a good time to pull them out. Okay, just wipe, wind the thread forward, and now we'll put on our crystal flash, grab it by the halfway mark, just come in behind, adjust it if you have to. And then just bring it forward. I like to bring it around the other side of the hook. Now we'll put on the gold, same thing, grab it by the halfway mark. We 
we got any stray bits, always pick them out. There we go. Now we're getting time to put in our yellow. A couple of soft wraps. Pull it up. And then just pull tight upwards. And then just check it to make sure it is all the way around. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to move this out of the way so you can see when it goes through the water, this part of the hook is what's going to contact the bottom and it's going to keep the bucktail away from the bottom. So this will give you a chance to uh, have your bucktail survive a little longer. It will eventually be beaten up, but it'll survive for a while. Once I get this off the vise, I will get this all straightened out. As you can see, it's a little bit of a mess right now. But once I get this off the vise, I can stroke this out. And now we get a, a very nice looking little clouser. All ready to go fishing. So there you have it, your surf uh, clouser. With that uh, fluorescent yellow, it works like a charm. I mean, I've caught a ton of fish on this fly and uh, it just glows on, a, on an overcast day. I mean, it's, it's, it's just so fishy when it comes through the water. And when you tie it in this fashion, it has a greater chance of surviving uh, being dragged through the surf. So give it a try. The surf clouser is quite simple to tie. And uh, just remember, prepare some ahead of time so you don't stick your fingers together. Anyway, good fishing and have fun with it.